Hey, hope you guys are doing well at Grissom Solo Marketer here. And in this video, I want to quickly show you how to create a private affiliate uh, program uh, as opposed to um, launching all your products on the uh, System.io Marketplace, which in case you saw one of my recent videos, the System.io Marketplace doesn't exist anymore. As far as I know, it's permanent. Maybe I'm wrong, but most likely it's it's a permanent switch because they, yeah, they decided to switch away from it to focus on other more important features. So uh, yeah, there's probably going to be a card popping up above, maybe at the end of the video as well, where you can take a look at that and basically what happens now, right? Because the, the affiliate marketplace where you can promote other people's products or list your own products, that's gone. So this is going to be the uh, kind of like the alternative uh, to that. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty simple process. It's a three-step process. And essentially what it looks like is, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to build your affiliate links, all that stuff. So essentially we will build a simple page where they, where there's like a sign up page, people sign up for your affiliate program. There's a confirmation page, which is really simple. And there's a confirmation email where you give them the affiliate links to your products and whatever else other information might need to be given. So it might be slightly different from, from what it was up until now, but you still need to you know deliver those affiliate links and not all people understand how to build affiliate links for system.io pages. So we will kind of need to do it for them. Uh, but yeah, let's get right to it. So now we want to go to sales funnels and let's just create a quick one. Uh, let's just call it test affiliate sign up just for myself, just so I can differentiate what it is. In this case, we want to build an audience. They're going to sign up for our affiliate program. We're going to kind of build, let's say, a list of affiliates that we can communicate with on a consistent basis, right? We don't want to just give them the link and that's it, right? Their affiliate link. We want to kind of communicate with them consistently, maybe on a weekly basis, send them more resources or like maybe there's new affiliate promotions, right? We want to build a list of these people that are interested to be your affiliates. Uh, we want to send different types of uh, kind of opportunities to them, right? Because they're really motivated. So yeah, we're going to be building an audience. Uh, this doesn't matter. We did the name. Obviously, you can pick a funnel domain. And uh, yeah, let's click on save. So it is right here. Test affiliate sign up. Let's go in and let's make my face smaller. So there's going to be a uh, kind of like a link down below where you can get kind of like a, in my opinion, a prettier and simpler landing page. But in this case, we're just going to use whatever system gives us. If you like this, this is good. I personally maybe don't like system.io templates as much. It's not my style. So there's kind of a really simple landing page template down below with an explainer video, how to set everything up. So after the video, you can go grab it. But in this case, I'm just going to grab this one, whatever, just kind of use one of the templates. And for the thank you page, same thing. I'm just going to pick the first one. So now let's create the squeeze page. Let's go in and let's just do, let's make it a little bit simpler. Let's do something like this. Uh, I'm not going to work on the, uh, this is not going to be the prettiest. Let's actually do this. Let's do this. I'm not going to make it super pretty. As I mentioned before, we're just going to make it functional and uh, just kind of in two columns. So this is what I'm going to do. There's going to be two form elements. We, we want to collect our email, obviously, which is mandatory and also their name. So let's click on this one, the first one. And let's select first name, right? And the second one will be email. And this will be the button where they fill out the form. They, they, they can submit that information. So it should say submit form over here when you click on the button, right? And then to the next step, which means it will take them to the next funnel uh, step or page, which will be the confirmation or thank you page. Uh, in this case, to make it even a little bit more pretty, click on the button. Let's make it fill with, right? Just so it's full width. And let's space them out a little bit. Let's click on the middle one and let's look for margins. So let's click on that top margin. Let's make it like I don't know, 15 and then bottom margin. Let's make it 15 as well, right? I just kind of spread them out a little bit. That's, you know, you can add more, more kind of more copy. I don't know. Uh, sign up for our affiliate updates. And be the first to know when a new campaign is, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it at this point, but this is simple enough. This, it should be like this, right? This needs to be deleted. All this stuff. This is not a website. A website can have all this crazy information. We will, we're just going to delete all of this, right? We just need that one section. 
and maybe like a footer um, at the bottom where it has like your terms and conditions and, you know, contact us, all that stuff. But this is kind of like the thing that's needed. Uh, you can change the background as well. <coughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete the image and I'm going to just do a black background. Simple as that. Obviously, it could be your branding, all that stuff, but uh, just, yeah, kind of make it look whatever you want it to look like. And this is it. This is going to be our form where the affiliates will sign up and they will receive an automated email with all their affiliate links. So let's go back. Let's go back to the confirmation page. We click on that, the thank you page, I usually call it. Let's click on edit page and we're going to make it just as simple. Let's delete everything and let's drag in a headline. Let's drag in text and there might be a footer as well if you want. Uh, and the headline is going to say something like, thank you for signing up. Uh, and then the subtext will be something like, please check your email inbox for your affiliate links and other important resources, right? Something like that. You can put in whatever you want. Uh, you can also mention that, you know, make sure to check spam. Uh, if it doesn't show up in your inbox, make sure to email to this address in case you didn't receive an email. You can put in all kinds of stuff, but don't go crazy. This is kind of the, the, the baseline stuff that you need to put in. So let's save changes. So we have the pages ready. So what do we do next? We go back to the squeeze page. So we make it now we make it so that once they sign up, they'll receive an email. So what we want to do is we want to go to once we're on the squeeze page, we want to go to automation rules and we want to create a new auto automation add rule. The trigger will be sign up for this page or through this page and the action will be us sending them an email. Uh, so let's click on the plus. We can also add them, subscribe them to a campaign. We can add a tag, which actually might be a good thing. As I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to be building a list of affiliates. So one of them will be add a tag. Uh, so we're going to do something like test affiliate sign up, right? Just same as the page, and we're going to create a new tag. Uh, so that's going to be a tag. We're going to tag all those people. So let's say we're going to have over time, we're going to accumulate like 50 people that are interested to be our affiliates. So we're going to every once in a while, we're going to send just these 50 people are kind of like newest affiliate campaign updates or, you know, new products have been launched or maybe there's new resources, all that stuff, right? We can send them broadcasts. Uh, so there's a tag. Let's add another one. We can subscribe them to a campaign. We can give them access to a course. Let's say there's a bigger training on how to promote your products, right? Or give them access to your product that they should be promoting. There's all kinds of things you can do. Um, but in our case, it's going to be send email. And we're going to, you can obviously select one from here, like an existing one if you have it. If you don't, click on the plus. And it's going to say, in my case, oof, let's go back. Let's click on plus. Right, let's keep my face here and test affiliate subject line obviously yours will say something different it's like uh here's your affiliate links that you sign up for as an example right that's going to be you know in the emails right you check your email inbox there's the subject lines and then, then the email itself so in this case what you're going to send them uh highly recommended uh obviously you're going to send them the affiliate link so you're going to say hey uh, here are your affiliate links, right? And this is where you're going to put the links. So we're going to go back to the Lucid chart. Uh, and you can see here, we did the first step, right? We're building a list of affiliates. Uh, there's a second step. We're going to inform them where they should go, which was the thank you page. So the third step, that's kind of the one of the most important parts, is we need to send them the actual affiliate links. So you can see here, it has kind of an interesting build. Uh, but it's it's a lot easier than it looks. So the first part is obviously the link to the sales page. But uh, there's also a couple more things that you need to add, which is this red part, which always stays the same. And this green, green part, which is uh, just kind of like a, uh, a dynamic field that will autofill whoever is the recipient, this affiliate ID thingy, it will auto populate with their specific affiliate ID. So the link that we'll receive will be your base link, this thing, which is just mandatory, the red thing. And this will auto change to whatever theirs is and they can just copy paste that link right so it's as simple as that so what does that look like in real life uh let's just use as an example this is one of my products one of my sales pages right so let's just take this link right right now it's a pure, it's just a clean link so just a link to a sales page but if let's say if i give just a link like this to someone else and they promote it 
I'm not going to know whether I should give them credit or not because there's no nothing attached to it that would indicate, oh, people signed up through, you know, through their actions. So that's why they need to add like an additional affiliate ID after the link, which is this part, essentially. Uh, this part, right? So we'll be sending them the link and their ID just so they can get credit, right? They can get their 40%, 30% commissions, all that stuff. So let's take the link. Let's build uh, their affiliate link. Uh, I highly recommend doing this in like a text document because if you paste it directly in the email, there might be some issues. So I'm just going to grab, I think you guys can see it. I'm just pasting it in the, in the doc and then I'm going to paste the rest of it. One second. And I'm going to show you what it should look like. So I'm going to paste it here like this, All right? This is my link, my product that they're going to be promoting. This is the question mark SA equals part, which just needs to be in there. And this will auto populate. All right. So what will it look like? I'll show you in a second what it actually looks like in real life uh, as a um, as someone on the other end who wants to promote my products. So let's just copy paste this, right? The link the question mark SA equals and the affiliate ID dynamic field. And then let's go back to the email and let's just paste it in as is. So this is the link. You can see it looks weird, but as someone signs up and they receive it, this will auto populate with their affiliate ID. Uh, a couple more things I would add is um, you can also add in if you already have a system.io account under this email address. Uh, log into your affiliate dashboard here, right? And we're going to hyperlink the word here. Uh, and where do we get the link? You can just either copy paste it from your from your from the back end, or you could just find it here. Uh, available personalization substitutes, and let's just take this. This is also an automated kind of like a, a, a custom field. I don't know what you call them, dynamic fields. And basically you copy this affiliate dashboard. You select here and then you click on the three dots, click on link, just paste it in, check mark, right? And that's all good. It looks weird, but this will basically, uh, once they click on this, it will take them directly to their affiliate dashboard. So it's simple as that. Um, in case you don't have a system.io account under this email, make sure to sign up for a free account here. Okay. And here, now we're going to hyperlink this text. Let's click on three dots. Let's click on link. And here's where you're going to put in your system.io, your own system.io affiliate link. So I'm just going to quickly go to my affiliate dashboard. All right. So we're at my affiliate dashboard at the moment. And uh, I'm just going to scroll past this stuff, which is probably hidden uh, because that's not important for this video. Yeah. Let me just scroll down just so you can see where the affiliate link is, right? Uh, you can copy it here, copy the link and go back to the email builder. And this is where you paste in. Uh, kind of you as the promoter creator of your affiliate uh, uh, program you can kind of promote your system.io uh, sign up link over here so there we go let's click on the check mark also optional uh, obviously you can have multiple links you know there's the slash fbc in my case but can also have like the solo marketer funnels.com slash fbb which is a different page right i can list them all out and as long as you attach this part to all of them that's going to auto populate with the affiliate link for them. Uh, also, you can add in additional, let's say, Google Drive links to additional resources. Let's say there's a email copy or or maybe there's, uh, I don't know, videos or for socials or, or maybe graphics, whatever you can provide people, uh, all kinds of things to help them promote your products, your sales pages um, easier. Just give them more kind of ammunition, stuff to work with, right? So you can put all of that in this email. In this case, we're just going to keep it as is, but yeah, all the best. Uh, so yeah, and that's this is a super simplified version, but this is kind of the, the baseline, the main things that are needed in this email. So now we're going to do a fake sign up as someone, you know, on the other end, receiving end of this uh, affiliate sign up page. And we're going to see what it looks like in real life, right? As they receive this email. So I'm going to click on save. Also, I have to save this. So change is saved. This is all good. Let's save the rule. So this is saved, right? Remember squeeze page automation rules. 
So we tag them and we uh, also send them an email. So one last thing to do now, let's go back and let's open the page and let's do a quick sign up. There we go. I'm just gonna quickly put in like a different name and email. That's not this account that I just created this on, obviously. All right, here we have it. Uh, it says contact us on the button, but you know, obviously you can change the button text on the left side bar when you click on the button in the page builder. So this is it, simple as that, right? You can make this page look prettier, obviously, but this is just for example's sake. So now we're gonna go back to the uh, to my uh, email inbox and we're gonna see what the email looks like. All right, here we are. This is the email that just came in. And as you can see, the link, right? Remember, question mark, SA equals, and then the affiliate ID thingy. Here it auto populates, even if they don't have a system not on your account, then, you know, then they'll just create it and then they will actually be able to access your dashboard. So this generates even if they don't have a system not on your account under this email address. Simple as that. If they do, they can just click on here. It will take them straight to the dashboard. So that's kind of the short version. And actually, let's double check. I have a suspicion that I might have messed up this link. Uh, so this one should be fine. This is just sign up. Yeah, the bottom one that it has my affiliate ID, right? And here, this might be actually, I might've done it wrong. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be good. Yeah, so this this is, I did this wrong. So what you wanna do for this is, you wanna go back to the email and you actually, let's go to the affiliate dashboard. And what you wanna do is when you're in the affiliate dashboard, you just copy this link from the affiliate dashboard and that's it. And then you go back into the email builder, automation rules, edit automation rule, uh, send email. So instead of a new one, we just go and edit the existing one. And I don't know what just happened. Click on the existing one and replace this thing. This is, yeah, my bad. Instead of this, we put in the actual link. I honestly don't remember what that thingy was originally. This, as we used it. So yeah, just put in that link that we took directly from, from the page, from the affiliate dashboard page. So that's, yeah, that's the short version. Uh, hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, make sure to ask questions. But the goal of this whole thing is uh, now that the uh, the marketplace is gone, we still we still have the ability to do, to kind of run affiliate campaigns for others, or we can we can do affiliate marketing ourselves for system.io or any pages that were, uh, that were created by system.io. We can just attach our own affiliate ID. And as long as on the other end, whoever created that page, They've set up the affiliate structure, the commission, the payouts, all that stuff. As long as they've set it up, then it should it should just work. But yeah, on this, at the end of this video, you'll be able to see there's another video on the marketplace and all that stuff. So we'll talk about that a little bit more a few days before making this video. And also, as I mentioned before, uh, also as a gift for sticking around to the end of the video, there, there will be a uh, landing page, kind of like a lead generation funnel, uh, full template with a... Uh, a landing page, a thank you page, a welcome email, how to connect it all together. There's going to be an explainer video like this one. So it kind of goes into slightly greater detail. Uh, yeah, make sure to go check it out. It's completely for free. And yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, if you don't have any questions, then yeah, go check those things out. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.